premise, the premise of our work began in 06 on sea surface satellite uh, temperature data from 1985 to 2005 that showed us definitively that these areas were, have been hotter and longer than other areas of Belize. So it's, it's a combination of the ge geography, um, the wind and the wave patterns, you know. Um, so these areas have been hotter uh, for longer periods than other areas. So the premise is the corals living in these areas are already somewhat thermally tolerant. They've already been adapted to the higher heat areas than say up, up right straight out from San Pedro, for example. That has been a main focus from day one for us to make sure that we have multiple individuals. So when they do spawn, the corals, when they breed, it's called spawning, they let go. Um, so they have a partner next to each other that's different to, to breed with. And so they also react differently. Each, each individual elk horn is going to behave differently in a bleaching sunlight hot environment. And so I think the reason that we've had such success is the first thing I mentioned, the long-term temperature exposure they, they've already had. And then the fact that we've worked so hard to make sure we have so many different individuals. So it's not a single elk horn or a single stag horn that's all over the place. In fact, it's like it's like 30 elk horns at Laughing Bird, different elk horns, and then like almost 20 different stag horns. And I'm just talking about the individuals, right? But I mean, literally there's like over 92,000 corals out planted.